All right, so this is a video uh, showing how to install a, a TCC valve P1870 fix. So basically what this does is on the newer 4060s, they have a PWM solenoid that controls the uh, amount of fluid going to lock the torque converter so they can modulate the torque converter uh, instead of just locking them on and off. And a lot of time what happens is this is the TCC valve here. Uh, obviously this is out of the truck, but you could do this in the truck, no problem. Uh, the TCC valve is right here and what it does is it wears out it bypasses fluid uh, and then it fails to fully lock the torque converter and then you'll get a P1870 code. Um, so this is a transmission out of the truck. Like I said, you could do this in the truck. What I wanna show in this video is you can change this without removing the valve body. So if you look at the instructions, step one on here says, remove the pan and valve body from the transmission. And the reason they say that is because there's these little clips, just like on the solenoid. So on the solenoid, you pop the clip out and then the solenoid comes out. The valves have the same thing holding them in, except when they put these together, they put them in the other way around. So they come in from the bottom. So you can't push them through to get the pin out. As you can see, it doesn't go through on here. So what you can do to get it out, and I've already started doing this, is you take a pair of needle nose pliers, you grind them like that so they fit down in here. Uh, and this is the valve next to it, but I'll show you. You take the little pins on the end of the valve and you bend them straight and then you take the pliers and you're gonna have to finagle it and come in with picks and push the valve and whatever. But you finagle it until you get the clips to pop past the lip. So the lip is now in here. The clips have now popped past the lip. As you can see right there, they're on the outside of the valve. So you spread them open while pushing this valve out from back here with a pick. Get them to pop around the groove. And now, if you keep pushing this, the valve will come out the back side right here and there will be no need to remove the valve body to get that fix in there. So I'm gonna push this, try to get it on video but that will pop out. Then you can pull the clip out and when you put it back in, you put the clip in from the top going down. So just like that, see the clip pop? There is the retainer for the valve. I'll put that off to the side here and then you go down in here with the needle nose pliers you can pull out and now you can understand what I was talking about there's the clip on the bottom side so the ear that I'm grabbed onto I bent it more straight I have to bend it back to put this back in or you can replace the clip but I bent those straight so you can open it and get this retainer out like that and now that you have that out we can slide this valve out we can slide this new valve in, and this valve doesn't have a retainer. The retainer is built onto the end of it, and that should hopefully help us not have problems with the torque converter slipping on this transmission. So I went ahead and pulled those valves out. I stuck a magnet in here, pulled the valve out, then the spring, so that's the order of which they were in the transmission. There is another piece to the valve down in there. Uh, you wanna leave that piece in, as it shows right here. That's this little piece. You wanna leave that little piece in, and then you install the new valve, install your clip, and that's it, you are good to go. So I'm gonna get the new valve put in here, show you how the clip goes back in from the bottom. I wanna emphasize again that the entire uh, reason for doing it this way is you don't have to pull the valve body off the transmission, saves a lot of steps, you don't have to disturb any of that. Uh, there's lots of check balls in there on the gasket between the valve body and the transmission. If you don't get all those in the right spot when you put it back together, you will have problems. So this is the way to do it in the truck without removing the valve body. So I've got the uh, new repair valve in there. So basically it's got an O-ring here, an O-ring here, and then a big O-ring that seals the outside. It's pushed all the way in. You can see the groove there for the clip to go in it. So now you're gonna take your clip that you took out before, which is right here, and you're gonna slide it in from the top, or rather at the bottom, I guess, but for me it's the top. And you hear it clip, click right there. And as you can see, it's nice and tight. It is sticking out the bottom because we have it in backwards now. That will not affect anything. Uh, and that's that. So there's the new valve in there. That's how you change the PWM valve for the torque converter without dropping the valve body off the bottom of the transmission. Hopefully this helps somebody, and I'll see you next time.